Corinthians 15, 24 down, when the end comes, he ain't gonna be sitting down judging to make war. Oh no. He coming with the power of the most high. That's why it tells you, say, when the most high put all his enemies under his footstool, there's gonna be a then you're gonna know that he that put all of Hamashiach Shai's enemies under his footstool is gonna be accepted. That's the most high. Now you know he's not accepted now. That's why I said earlier, nobody really talking about really about the most high. Most people don't even know the most high. Enough of him. Even to think about making it to the kingdom. Come on, man, we, it's too much about Israel. Too much about we as the people of Israel. Okay, you know you Israel, now what? You better know who it is that we talk about right here. Because he said he's going to be accepted. Better be working to be accepted. Let him be accepted in your life before this. Because you're not going to make it. You see what he got to do to be accepted? Are y'all hearing what it's saying? What he got to do to be accepted? Dust and smell of smoke. That's when he put all of Hamashiach Abishai's enemies under his footstool. Because what, what they going to fight with? Who going to fight for them? No army, no navy, no marines, no more air force. Who going to fight for them? When they see every last entity. Not only that, come on, we got a galactical battle with Satan and all of them, the vehicles that the Most High allowed them to have to show this power, man. Look, what did the Most High do to the Egyptians? He did all the plagues on them, right? He brought all the plagues upon them. You what you think he's going to do in our time? Or at least in these last days. He's going to show off, man. Big time. He's going to show off big time. Remember, this gonna last how long? When he do what he gonna do, what we read about here, how long it's gonna last? All generations. Huh? Forever. 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 Ain't nobody ever gonna be one to fight against Israel, against anyone. They gonna be in order, straight up. Remember, we all gonna be what? In the kingdom. Righteous. We're gonna be righteous. Doing what he say do. Following and loving to do. Remember, he said, Oh, he's gonna wipe away all tears. Ain't gonna be no sadness. You gonna enjoy being there if you make it. You see? But see, he's not accepted now. That's why it says, When he do this, you hear what it said? Read verse 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and verse 27. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he said, All things are put under him. It is manifest that he's accepted, which did put all things under him. See? When he destroyed, that's the only time he's gonna bring it about. Because he gotta destroy these kingdoms and their military might. To be accepted. Because he's gonna put all of the Mosh Upside's enemies under his foot. Then he's gonna be accepted. Then the most high gonna be accepted. Because he's the one that's doing it. He's the one that's doing it. Mashiach of Shai coming with the power of the most high power of who? Abraham, Abraham Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob. There it is. Go ahead. And when all, all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the son also himself be subjected to him. See, when all things are subdued unto him, then Mashiach of Shai going to be subject to the most high. Read. That put all things under him. The Most High that put all things under Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Amen. This is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. And Hamashiach Yahweh Shah is going to be, have to give it up to the Most High. Once this thousand year reign is over, I mean, once he, you know, he's going to come and deal with a thousand years, he's going to put his enemies under his footstool, then he tells you what he got to do at this time, man. Because it's about the Most High, y'all. It ain't about us. Think about all those that said the same thing. They said the same thing. It's all about us, all about us. They thought it was all about Israel. And they missed the mark. 
They missed it. Because spiritually they were not in the spirit. Better hear what he's saying. Read that again, verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also be subject unto him that put all things under him. See? Mashiach was shy. Once the Mosai put all things under his feet, in a thousand years, he's going to be, I mean, he be ruling with a rod of iron with this law. That's why, how do you think everybody going to be righteous? By not following the laws of the Most High? No, by following the laws of the Most High, his rules and regulations. Everybody, regardless, man, however you think, everybody going to bow down to the Most High's labor that he has labor to give us these laws to make us perfect. Go ahead. That the Most High may be all in all. That the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob may be all in all. That's the way it's going down. I'm surprised they still have me on the line. It used to be to cut me off by now. Get out of Isaiah, second chapter. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 1. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in, these la in the last days that the mountain of the Most High's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Most High, to the house of the power of Jacob. See, many people will say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, Most High, to the house of the Most High power of Jacob. These other nations, read. And he will teach us of his way. He'll teach him of his ways. His laws, that commandments, read. And we will walk in his path. And he will walk in his path, read. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. Oh, come on now. Out of Zion, who is Zion? Israel. Israel. The Twelve tribes of Israel. Come on, don't be lazy, because if you ain't, if you ain't, if you say Israel, could be talking about the Jewish people, right? Could be talking about the people over there in Israel. And first and foremost, you know, don't don't just answer out because we gotta have order. Read. And the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. And the word of the Most High from the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. So all of the weapons that they have, they're going to beat them and make them farming utensils. Why are they going to have farming utensils? Go ahead. And their spears into pruning hooks. Why they gotta have puny hooks? Hmm? Read. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. No more wars. But I ask the question, why they gotta beat their military might or their guns and what they have, melt them down and make farming utensils and puny hooks? <laughs> they gonna be farmers. Huh? They gonna be farmers. Farming for who? Us? That's right, God. That's right, but we're going to rest. They're going to be working. Go ahead. Neither shall they learn war anymore. They ain't going to learn war no more. Read. Old house of Jacob. Old house of Jacob. Old family. We live in a house of family. Old family of Jacob. Read. Come ye. Come ye. Read. And let us walk in the light walk in the light of the Most High. What is he saying? Let us walk in his commandments. Proverbs 6, 23. Let us just walk and do what the Most High said. Proverbs 6, 23. Look, Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. See? So anywhere you go, you're not going to get away with it. Gone. That's what we're looking at, man. 
So I'm gonna stop there. Are there any questions? The conference call is off. I didn't even hear it. They didn't say anything. I didn't, I didn't even say anything about when we when have so much time. Hmm? When did it go off? I don't know. They said it, they said it went off. Somebody sent me a message to me it went off. Hey, y'all. So, are there any, uh, 